So today we've got a brand new scent release for Honor Initiative, and it's called number 60. So you may not be able to guess what the scent profile is on that. So I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. Welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And Honor Initiative, I don't remember how long they've been around, maybe about a year or so, but this is my first opportunity to try their products. I had a really good experience with the oil and the butter, and I enjoy the scent as well that we'll talk about. But Honor Initiative is out of uh, McKinney, Texas. Um, and they've got uh, eight cents, plus you can get unscented. They've got oil that goes for $20. Uh, they've got a big 3.4 ounce butter in a nice glass container uh, that goes for uh, $25, and you can get a combo for $38. Nice, clean, uh, simple um, branding on that. Looks really good. The only issue I had is this writing is really, really small, and I've got on my bifocals, and it was still really small. You can also get a beard balm is $19 for a 1.7 ounce. Have not tried that or the mustache wax, which is $10 for the little, uh, it looks like chapstick in one of those little tubes. If you hit $50, that's the free shipping threshold. And you also have a one year hassle free uh, returns or exchange policy. So uh, you can feel pretty safe and, and know that you're going to have a good experience when you order from Honor Initiative. Uh, also, 5% of your sales are always donated back to men's mental health which seems to be a very important uh, in these days and times for sure. All right, so they've actually done a little bit of a reformulation on one of their oil blends. They actually have two oil blends, uh, a lightweight and a heavyweight oil. So a lot of companies have the two different oil blends, but a lot of times they've got like a premium blend. This is a, a light versus um, heavyweight, even though I'm, in my opinion, it's not a heavyweight oil. It's not really super thick, if you will. But the reformulation on that is vitamin E, castor, coconut, and jojoba. And I think I remember that, that there's more vitamin E in it, a little less castor than before. Uh, to me, it's, it's super clear. And to me, I would not say it's more than uh, straight up medium. Um, and maybe even on the lighter side of medium, depends on what day you ask me. Um, works super well in my beard. Uh, uh, and it lasts for a, a long time, numerous hours. Your, your mileage may vary a little bit on that. Depends if you use the butter and all that kind of stuff with it, or if you blast it with heat, or if you live in a drier climate, like when you're out in Arizona and you've got, you know, 120 degree weather and low humidity, it might dry out a little bit faster. Uh, but the uh, beard butter uh, is really good. It's got shea butter in it and then coconut oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, and vitamin E. Super smooth, super creamy, makes my beard super soft. So uh, one of the best butters that I've tried in a while for sure. Uh, the, the lightweight oil I do not have, but it's argan, jojoba, grapeseed, and vitamin E. I don't think that's been reformulated. So uh, if you have tried the lightweight oil, let me know in the comments how that treated you, how you like that, as well as some of your favorite uh, Honor Initiative scents if you were able to try them in the past, because this is my only experience is trying this number 60 which is brand new. And I'm going to tell you what's in it. And it, you, you may think, oh, I don't want it. Or, oh, I th you think you know what it is. Because I'm going to say the word pineapple. As soon as you say pineapple, you think, oh, that's going to be real sweet and like candy, that kind of stuff. That's not what this is. All right. Because it's more on the green side. So it's pretty authentic smelling. So it's pineapple, sage, rosemary, green leaves. And I've had this type of scent before. Uh, one was a peach scent. Um, and then I had another one in the fall that was an apple scent and it smells super authentic like you are in the fields or the orchards or whatever. And in this case, pineapple, maybe you've got a bushel of pineapples or you've got a cardboard box full of pineapples that are a little bit on the green side. You take all those out, uh, uh, you stick your head down in the box or the bushel basket and that's what it smells like. All right. So it's more on the green outdoorsy side, which works really great for this time of year. So you get a little bit of that pineapple, but it's not overly sweet. It's not candy. It does not smell uh, overpowering tropical. Like the word tropical doesn't pop in my mind, even though it's pineapple. So hopefully that paints the picture for you a little bit. Uh, for the guys that like those outdoorsy scents, I think you would like it. Uh, even though this is not all essential uh, oil, sometimes that essential oil uh, blend, that's the... the um, the woodsy notes that you kind of get that vibe more than you do a, a fragrance, uh, candy, 
uh, food kind of thing. So hopefully that helps kind of point you in the right direction on what this scent actually is. I really enjoyed it and I don't always enjoy pineapple scents. They can be kind of hit or miss on some of those type of profiles, but I really enjoyed this. I uh, really enjoyed my experience. Let me know in the comments uh, if this sounds good to you, if you're going to pick it up or what some of your other favorite honor initiative scents are. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.